Hello, beautiful friends. Yes, it's the naked face of a 49 year old. Ah! No, just kidding. Okay, what we want to know as we age is how can we make our skin look young and dewy and fresh and like airbrush, not all these little wrinkles that you see and what kind of products can we use so that it won't accentuate our laugh lines and our and our smile lines. I think I found that product. I like this a lot. It's called It Celebration Foundation and it has a 50 uh, plus SUV in it. It's about $38 and you can find it at Ulta or you can go online to the It Cosmetics. Um, this is rich in peptics and also hydrolyzed collagen and has anti-aging technology in it. And this is for, um, I, it can be for anyone, but I really like it on my skin as it's gotten, it's gotten older because it helps get rid of all those creases. And get, well, anyway, it's easy to apply as well. It comes with, uh, well, you can buy this brush. I got this in a kit through QVC. I got two of the foundations uh, along with the brush, and it was just a phenomenal deal. It was like mm, a little over $50 because I had a QVC coupon for being a first-time shopper. But let me show you how this works. What you want to do is I was a little bit anxious about using a powder because I was thinking it's going to make my skin feel dry. This does not. It is luminous. It feels really soft. But when you put it on, I just kind of dab it like this. And you want to put it on in swirling motion. So it was kind of hard to do that. Honestly, I'm being real because they're like, oh, put it in swirling motions. Well, it's not that easy. You feel like it's getting clumpy. So what I do is I just kind of sweep it and then I blend it in the swirly motions like that. To show you this, it's really, really pretty. We want to, what we want to do first. Uh, I think a lot of people are afraid to use foundation because they think it's going to make them look older, and they think it's going to harm their skin and clog their pores. Ah, uh, totally the opposite. If you don't wear foundation, your skin will age faster. You're more prone to blemishes and uh, debris coming at you. All those little things that are in the air, the uh, UV rays, all the anti, the aging rays, this actually acts as a barrier. When you wear a good foundation, it acts as a barrier and protects your skin. This one does have a SPS 50, so that's going to help. And again, you can swirl. I'm going to take my time on this because I think breaking it down, you can watch this and then we can go on to the next tutorials. But let's get our, 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 our canvas ready for the rest of our makeup. And what I've done before I put this on is I have cleaned my face, of course, and I have um, used a uh, moisturizer. And you want to give yourself about mm, probably like 10 minutes for it to soak in. Otherwise, it's just going to soak in all your foundation. And you'll be like, oh, I can't even see my foundation. It's not even there. It can get real cakey and whatnot. Again, swirling. I'm taking my time. You don't, you can put this on faster once you get used to it, but I'm showing you how to do it. This really cool thing is you can use it right on your eyelids as a primer. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but as you get older, if you've tried Urban Decay and the little pearly kind of shadow primers, well, as our eyes get older and the skin gets crepey and it's not so perfect like the young ladies, well, the pearlization of that primer makes all the um, shadow just clump up and stick and my eyes start looking really wrinkly. I'm like, I know I'm not that old. I know my eyes haven't gotten that wrinkly. And then I realized it was the primer. So this works really great. Okay, now I have these great under eye circles. Whoa! Yeah, I do. I'm Italian, so I've got this, um, the green purple under eye circles. And uh, so, you know, people say, have you slept well? Yes, I have. This stuff here, this foundation as well, you can use right in there. Just kind of pat. You don't want to pull too hard on your skin and work back and forth inside out. From the outside in, inside out. And just get it up in there and then right in the side corners where we don't see but other people see when we show our profile. Oh, it looks like you got a black eye. Don't forget it there. So you want to get that too. And I find that sometimes I don't even have to use a concealer. And I'm telling you, I've got the good under eye circles. I know this lighting here is not the best. So maybe it looks like I still have circles. But uh, this stuff works. And I've tried a bunch of different products. You name it, I've probably tried it. And if you, if you look up close, <laughs> as we've gotten older, I've had to get one of those magnifying mirrors. I thought it would never happen to me. You know, the kind you used to look at when you were a teen. You went, yeah! Too, too close. Well, now I need one. Well, what you can do with this is look at your face in the up close mirror. And if, sometimes if it's not in the pores all the way, because you know, you it is an art. You've got to get used to getting your canvas all smooth and you'll get real good at it. So it's not going to take you a lot of time. You might be like, well, the happy stylist, I don't have time for that. By the way, my name is Cheryl Lynn. I am the happy stylist, but I wanted to let you know, you do have time for it. Practice makes a perfect. Practice makes a perfect. 
what you do, just go ahead and push it in with your fingers if it's sitting on top of your pores or just blend with your fingers. Make sure you have nice clean fingers and that will uh, do the trick. This stuff really does last long. One of the other things you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you blend along your chin line. How many times have you seen those ladies where you got this big old line or it's like jaggedy and you're thinking, what did you stick your face in? What did you dip it in? We want to blend. You don't have to blend real far down, just blend. Blending is one of the things that people shortchange themselves on. You do have time to blend. You don't have time not to blend. So I wanted to start off with that so you could see a nice canvas. See, you want to get yourself smooth and perfect, ready to apply the rest of your makeup for that perfect natural face. Hello gorgeous, you are gorgeous. I am telling you that today. Thank you for watching my tutorial. This is the happy stylist Cheryl Lynn. I am 49 years old and I will show you, if you stay tuned to all my tutorials, how to shave off about 10 years on your age. People are gonna start saying you look younger. What did you do? What kind of makeup are you using? What are you, did you have a, a plastic surgeon friend that you can refer me to? This is gonna be way cheaper than that and you're gonna look good and you're gonna feel good. And you can adapt it to your preference, but I'm telling you, if you'll use some of my tips and you do these things, you're not gonna go wrong. Let's see if I can kind of fix my hair up. And just so you can see, I know you, I, we have a lot to do because I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to show you to brow or not to brow. Yes, we're going to brow. That is going to make the eyes pop. But for now, I just wanted you to see this, this foundation and how nice it is. It's real velvety. It's almost like an airbrush. And it does have the peptides and the nice anti-aging quality, so it's nourishing my face. It does not feel dry. I am amazed because I've tried other powder foundations and I feel like my whole face is going to crack off. This does not do it. I absolutely love this. This is It Celebration Foundation, 50 plus on the SPF, so you're getting a good um, block from the sun. It's healthy, it nourishes your skin, and it looks fabulous. Stay tuned for my next tutorial. I'm Cheryl Lynn, the happy stylist. You are gorgeous, and have a happy day.